Hello everyone, today I am Ritu Gupta is going to present a PPT on production technology of PIO. Before starting my presentation, I would like to thank our course instructor Dr. Prashant Bakshi sir for providing me this opportunity. The topics which I will be discussing in my presentation are Botanical Description, Benefits, Introduction, Climate and Soil, Varieties, Cultivars, Propagation and Rootstock, Planting, Training and Pruning, Pollination, Flowering, Fertilization, Intercultural Operations, Irrigation, High Density Planting, Fruit Harvesting and Yield, Diseases, Pests and some questions. Botanical Description of Pure Botanical Name Pyrus communis, genus Pyrus, family Rosiaceae, order Rosales, chromosome number 17. Benefits of Pure Boost immune system, speeds up wound healing process, improves digestion and intestinal health, helps prevent cancer and cardiovascular diseases, improves blood circulation and red blood cell count. Introduction Pyrus communis, known as European pear or common pear, is a species of pear native to Central and Eastern Europe and Southwest Asia. Pear is next only to apple in importance, production and varietal diversity among temperate fruit in India. Pear is a rich source of carbohydrate as sugar, starch and cellulose and minerals like calcium, phosphorus and sulfur. The leading pear cultivator country is China. Climate and Soil Pear is adapted to wide range of climatic conditions. They can be grown at an altitude of 1000 to 2000 meter above mean sea level. Pear trees can tolerate temperature as low as minus 24 degrees Celsius and as high as 44 degrees Celsius during its growing period. An average rainfall of 1600 to 2000 millimeter is enough for growing pear trees. Pears can thrive best in deep well-drained, medium-textured, and relatively more clay soils. Pure trees prefer deeper soils. pH range of 5.5 to 6.5 is ideal for growing pure fruit. Avoid alkaline soils for pure fruit growing. Varieties Pyrus pyrifolia Trees are spreading in nature and can grow up to 9 meters in height. The bark of the trunk is light brown, rough, and shreddy. Branches grow fast and become drooping. Fruits are round to pyriform in shape and have deciduous calyx. Fruits taste sweet. Flesh white in color, fruits usually hard at maturity. Pyrus communis. Trees are of pyramidal in shape. Bark of the trunk is light brown to green color. Leaves are dark green from upper surface and light green from lower surface. Fruits are with fleshy pedicels and persistent calyx. Fruit is sweet, soft fleshed, and creamy white. Pyrus serotino. Trees spreading. The bark of the trunk is dark brown. Fruits have bold seeds. The taste is sour. Seeds are used as rootstock for pyrifolia and communist species. Pyrus pashi. Trees are spreading and upright. Tree size is variable, may grow 5 meter to 9 meter in height. The bark is dark brown. Fruits are brown in color, hard and round in shape. Fruit size is variable. It is an important rootstock for pear cultivars. Cultivars For temperate region, early season cultivars which mature from last week of June to third week of July. It includes China pear, Bureau de Amanalis. Mid-season cultivars which mature in 3rd week of July to 3rd week of August. It includes Citron Descams, Claps Favorite, Doine Bosch, Star Crimson. Late season cultivar, which matures from last week of August to 2nd week of September. It includes Bury Hardy. For subtropical region, Patharnak, tree spreading and vigorous. Fruit is medium, round and green. Ripens in last week of July. Average yield is 150 kg per tree. Lee Conte Tree medium in vigor and is spreading. Fruit small to medium in size and pyriform in shape with alternate greenish yellow color. Flesh whitish, juicy and sweet. Ripens in August and yields about 60 to 80 kg per tree. Some other cultivars recommended for subtropical areas are 
ਕਾਈਫਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਬਿਊਟੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਗੋਲਡ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨੈਕਟਰ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਰੂਟ ਸਟਾਕ ਦਿ ਚੋਇਸ ਆਫ ਰੂਟ ਸਟਾਕ ਲਾਈਜ਼ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਪੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਕੁਇਨਸ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਗਰੋਨ ਔਨ ਕੁਇਨਸ ਰੂਟ ਸਟਾਕ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਪਲਾਂਟਡ ਇਨ ਸੋਇਲਸ ਵਿਦ ਹਾਈਅਰ ਵਾਟਰ ਟੇਬਲ ਵਿਦ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵ ਆਫ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਡਵਾਰਫ ਪੀਅਰ ਟ੍ਰੀਸ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਆਰ ਰੇਜ਼ਡ ਔਨ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਪੀਅਰ ਸਟਾਕ ਲੋਕਲੀ ਨਾਉਨ ਐਸ ਕੈਂਥ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਔਨ ਕੁਇਨਸ ਸੀਡਲਿੰਗ ਸੀਡਲਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਕੈਂਥ ਔਰ ਕੁਇਨਸਸ ਆਰ ਰੇਜ਼ਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਟੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੀਡਸ ਫਾਰ 30 ਟੂ 50 ਡੇਜ਼ ਐਟ 1 ਟੂ 5 ਡਿਗਰੀ ਸੈਲਸੀਅਸ ਸੀਡਲਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਟੰਗ ਔਰ ਸਪਲਾਈਜ਼ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਟਡ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਬਡ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਇਨ ਟੈਂਪਰੇਟ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਟੀ ਬਰਡਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਕਾਮਨਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਡ ਇਨ ਜੁਲਾਈ ਅਗਸਤ ਪਲਾਂਟਿੰਗ ਪਲਾਂਟਿੰਗ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਸ ਅਪਨ ਦਾ ਸਾਈਟ ਸੋਇਲ ਰੂਟ ਸਟਾਕ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਟੀਵਰਸ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਦਾ ਪੀਅਰ ਟ੍ਰੀਜ਼ ਆਰ ਪਲਾਂਟਿਡ ਐਟ ਅ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਆਫ 6 ਟੂ 8 ਮੀਟਰ ਇਨ ਸਕੁਅਰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਆਫ ਪਲਾਂਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪਲਾਂਟਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਡਨ ਇਨ ਵਿੰਟਰ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਮਿਡਲ ਆਫ ਫੈਬਰੀ ਜਨਰਲੀ 1 ਈਅਰ ਓਲਡ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਆਰ ਪਲਾਂਟਿਡ but older plants of 2 to 3 years age can also be planted with good success the older plants should preferably be planted by the end of december training and pruning peer trees are trained to modify the central leader system in this four to five well spaced branches are developed in first 3 to 4 years and then leader is headed back to strong lateral pruning of young plants differ considerably from that of bearing ones in case of young plants unbranched plants should be headed back at 60 to 90 cm above the ground level at planting time in case of old bearing trees pruning of dead woods and non bearing spurs should be practiced old trees often require spur shortening to maintain size and quality of fruit and vigor of trees the thinning out and heading back of the laterals may also be done to encourage the fruiting spur formation pollination most peers fail to set a good crop with their own pollen and crop batter with cross pollination for adequate peer pollination 5 to 6 honey bee colonies per hectare are optimum at 100 to 150 meter distance for optimum fruit set and yielding peer bee hives should be placed at 30 to 50% flowering and should be replaced by fresh ones after 3 to 4 days to increase the number of foraging bees flowering peer blossoms in spring season as tightly closed green buds as the weather becomes warmer in the spring the buds open uncoloring broad and flat white petals each petal has delicate slightly wavy appearance with a soft smooth and velvety texture peer blossoms typically grow in clusters of 5 to 7 blooms and average 2 to 3 cm in diameter comprising of 5 petals with several filaments anthers and stigma the flowers bear a subtly sweet aroma and offer a mild fresh and slightly vegetal flavor fertilization in hills the recommended dose for 10 year old plants is 60 to 100 kg farm yard manure 700 g nitrogen 350 g p2o5 and 700 g k2 the farm yard manure p and k are applied before snowfall in december half of nitrogen is added 3 weeks after flowering and the rest half just after fruit set the deficiency of zinc and iron on young foliage can easily be controlled by spraying 0.4 to 0.5% zinc sulfate and ferrous sulfate respectively during april intercultural operations irrigation become necessary when there is not enough moisture in soil and there is no summer rains excessive irrigation should be avoided weeds can efficiently be controlled by spraying herbicides namely paraquat at the rate 0.6% or hexoron or glyce irrigation in heavier soils moisture supply representing 50% or more of maximum available moisture in upper 1 meter is essential for maximum growth of root shoot and trunk a loam soil should wet 1.5 to 1.8 meter deep in hills peer cultivation is mostly done under rain fed conditions but at many places irrigation facility may be available which is an additional advantage Besides rainfall irrigation may be applied annually in some regions both excessive and scanty moisture affects color composition and keeping quality of fruits after harvesting in july august 
the trees should be irrigated at 20 days interval or so up to the end of October. Afterwards, no irrigation is required up to January except when the manures and fertilizers are added in December. High Density Planting Similar to apples, pears can be planted at high densities to improve early yields and profitability during the first 5 or 10 years. Early density pear experiment at Geneva has shown very high yields of good quality fruit are possible when high planting densities are used. Although we don't have the perfect dwarfing rootstock for pears, by using the concept of limb bending and limb renewal pruning developed in apples, we can successfully manage very high planting densities using semi-dwarfing pear rootstocks and achieve higher yields. Fruit Harvesting and Yield Fully mature fruits are harvested while still firm and green for distinct market. For local market, they are left on trees to get better quality fruits. At an interval of 3-4 to four days, 2 or 3 pickings are taken up. Fruits should be carefully handled while storage and transit as bruising is possible by rubbing with one another as well as stock damage. From a well-maintained orchard, yield of 30 to 40 tons per hectare per year can be expected. Diseases Scab It is caused by Venturia piruna. The affected leaves become twisted and have black circular spots on the upper surface. Infected fruit become distorted and may crack, allowing entry of secondary organisms. Treatment by applying lime sulfur sprays around February to middle of March. Seedling blight. It is called by Sclerotium rolfsi. The most di distinct symptoms and signs occur at color of the tree. Small, round, light brown to yellow resting structures of pathogens can be found oppressed to or in soil adjacent to infected trees. Treatment To control them, treat the seed with 3 gram of bevistine per kg of seed. Crown gall It is caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens. Galls are usually restricted to lower stems, roots and lower branches of infected plants. Affected plants may be stunted, produce small chlorotic leaves and become more sensitive to environmental stresses. Treatment By drenching soil with antagonist bacterium. Antagonist controls Crown gall initiation by establishing itself on plant tissues where it produces bacteriocin. Powdery mildew. It is caused by Podosphera leucotrica. Small patches of white or grey powdery masses on under surface of leaves occur. Affected fruits remain small and deformed and tend to develop roughened surface. Treatment Spray a mixture containing 16 parts of mancozeb, 75 WP, and 4 parts of carathene, 25 WP. Pest Shaffer beetles. It is caused by adoratus species. Adult beetle feed on leaves, buds, blossom, and fruitlets. Eaten leaves are perforated. The gerbs feed on roots and may cause wilting of the plant. Treatment Spray carbile, 50 WP, during May June, or apply carbofuron. 3G at the rate 1 kg active ingredient per hectare in the soil. Pear Sila It is caused by Sila pyricola. Heavy infestation leads to development of small, misshaped fruits and premature leaf fall or fruit drop. Treatment It can be controlled by spraying of endosilphone at the rate 0.2% about 3 weeks after petal fall. Stem borer. It is caused by Apriona cinerea. The beetles damage stem branches, drilling big holes in the trunk. Treatment Clean the hole and plug it with, with cotton soaked in petrol after inserting naphthalene balls. Questions First, scientific name of pear is The answer is Pyrus communis. Second, chromosome number of pear is The answer is 17. Third, leading pear cultivator country is the answer is China. Fourth, which type of soil should be avoided for growing pear? The answer is alkaline soils. Fifth, name some cultivars for subtropical regions. The answer is Lee County, Punjab Beauty, Punjab Gul, etc. Sixth, ideal pH range of pear is? The answer is 5.5 to 6.5. Seventh, pollination in pear is done by? The answer is honeybee. Thank you everyone.